spend the 6th and 7th day of our 11 day trip to European villages at this farmhouse in Innsbruck. The name of this farmhouse is Kinderhof. It was booked through booking.com. 837 Saudi Riyal was paid for 2 days. We chose this farmhouse after seeing the details, photographs and reviews given by the travelers on booking.com. But when I got here, I realized that this farm and the ambience here is 10 times better than what I saw on the website. There were three other families here besides us. The farmhouse is run by a lady named Magdalena and her family. There is a play area and a lawn for children to enjoy. They also offer free horse ride for children. This is the villa where we stayed. We got the top floor of it. It was a beautiful villa with two bedrooms, a kitchen, a hall and a balcony. The highlight is the rusting looking wooden furniture. Looking out from the balcony, you can see the snow-capped Alps at a distance. We left all our belongings in the room and walked around the place. You can see a cottage made of wood like this along with all main buildings here. Firewoods are stored here. The farm is located at the back of the house. The farm is full of cows, horses and poultry. Even young children could be seen engaged in activities on the farm, assisting their parents. Fresh cow's milk, chicken eggs from the farm are delivered to the room every day at 7 am. It was after getting tired of walking around the wild park in Schattenberg Museum in Feldkirch, we headed back to Innsbruck. So we are in need of very good rest and relaxation. Today, Magdalena says she is going to take my son Sri Ram for a horse ride towards late evening. Yeah, it's time for horse ride. Though it is late in the evening, it is as bright as a clear day. Two girls took Sri Ram for horse ride. My wife and I accompanied them. There is a forest area in the boundary of the farm. Horse ride is a one-way street. It was a beautiful ride. The place was quiet, quiet and peaceful. Only the sound of birds and hoofbeats of the horses could be heard. It was interesting to see that little girl controlling the horse. Occasionally, she would take food out of her pocket and give it to the horse. There were some nice photo points along the way. I stopped there and took a few shots. After this ride, we should go to some restaurants and have dinner. We plan to spend that night in the farmhouse and return to Nordkade in the morning. We all have excitement about the next day. The coming up journey to the snowy mountain is tomorrow. Keeping that excitement in our thoughts, we went to bed. We are now in the cable car to not cutting. It takes about 20 minutes. We enjoy this journey through the trees and hills as well. Innsbruck is a beautiful place. Innsbruck 
is the capital of Austrian state of Tyrol. A river flows through Innsbruck, River Inn. The River Inn, which connects Austria, Germany and Switzerland, is a tributary of the River Danube. River Inn is credited with getting the name Innsbruck. Berg means bridge in German. Innsbruck means bridge of the river. The bridge of the Inn River was built in 1170, giving the city of Innsbruck its name. In the year 1239, Innsbruck was given the title of city. Innsbruck is currently the fifth largest city in Austria. The bridge also contributed to the growth of Innsbruck. Transportation and trade between the North Alps and the South Alps intensified with the coming of this bridge. Innsbruck city began to grow. Only 13% of Tyrol is human inhabited. The rest of the area is occupied by the Alps mountains. This cable car goes to Nordkote, which also is known as Jewel of Alps among the Alps mountain ranges. We got a magnificent aerial view through the glass cabins of this cable car. Besides the canopy of trees and snow caps of the mountains, you can see winding trekking trails among the woods. You can also see people hiking alone and in groups as well. Trekking is categorized to suit hikers of different capabilities. Not only trekking, but also sports like mountaineering, skiing, snowboarding, hang gliding and paragliding are available here from the beginner's level to advanced level including professionals. This cable car has several stops before reaching Nordkade. At each stop, there are a variety of sites and activities for passengers. It includes a world-class ski center, beautiful restaurants and an alpine zoo. We had a deep intention to get a first-hand experience of going down the snowy caps. Our intense desire to go down snowy mountains has been rejected and so we couldn't be so adventurous. We were in a hurry to reach Nordkote as soon as possible. Nordkote is a small part of Carvendel Nature Park. Carvendel Nature Park is the largest nature park and protected area in Austria. It covers an area of 727 square kilometer. Now we are traveling over the top of this nature park. It claims a rich tourist history over one and a half century. Every year, about one million tourists visit this spectacular location. Innsbruck is located minutes away from the city center. Nordkote and the city center are situated so close that it takes only a few minutes to travel between these two. This is yet another peculiarity of Innsbruck. The mountain is in the heart of the city. It is about 20 minutes more to Nordkote and we are getting closer. Our heartbeat is loud enough for us to hear. We are so thrilled and excited. Yes, we reached Nordkote. The cable car stopped at the station. It's snowing everywhere. The view is indeed stunning and spectacular. It's located 2000 meters above sea level. The moment he saw the snow, Sri Ram jumped into it and started playing in it. Wow, wonderful. No words suit well to describe the dazzling and gorgeous scenes. There is a trekking facility to the highest point right from here. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to reach there. If you go there, you will get a 360 degree view. 
Also, if you look down from there, you can enjoy the urban beauty of Innsbruck on one side and the forest beauty of Nature Park on the other side. But we didn't try to go there. The reason is that it was only some time after we have reached North Kutty, we realized that we have neither taken any precautions nor done the required preparations while going to snowy mountains. It was quite disappointing to realize all these mishaps after reaching the long awaited destination. In a way, it has taken the charm of entire trip because of lack of suitable wearables. We couldn't even walk along the snow. Main problem was that there were no waterproof snow hiking boots. Ours were normal shoes. When walking through the snow, the feet go down into the snow. When the foot is pulled back, the shoe pulls off the foot. The socks were soaked in the snow and the feet began to freeze. The lack of waterproof gloves made it difficult to play in the snow. Although it was a bit difficult, we walked as far as we could and went to the edge of the mountain and took selfies. Innsbruck is famous for its winter sports. The 1964 and the 1976 Winter Olympics were hosted by Innsbruck. In 1984 and 1988 Winter Paralympics and the 2012 Winter Youth Olympics were hosted by Innsbruck. Innsbruck is the largest ski resort in the Alps. Here's the steepest ski route for daredevils to perform. As the time went by, it became too cold. We decided to take waterproof icing boots, woolen socks, waterproof clothes, thermal wear, trekking poles and ear coverings. With us next time when we go for a trip to any snowy mountains. After getting out of the cable car, we went to a nearby family park. It's a beautiful park. The park is maintained in such a way that it can be used by locals for picnics and jogging. It's full of shady trees, lawns and rusting benches. When traveling in Europe, we always carry an empty water bottle with us. Free drinking water is available in all public places here. If there is an empty water bottle with us, we can collect drinking water from any water dispensers. After spending some time in the park, we headed to the nearest city center. The intention was to buy some souvenirs to commemorate the trip. But when I saw the waterproof gloves and thermal wear on sale there, I was really disappointed. We should have roamed in the city center for a while before going to the snowy tops. We had bought all this before going to North Kade, our trip would have been more successful and could have spent some more quality time on the snowy mountain. It does not matter. Journeys do not end in our lives. How many more snowy mountains to see? Disappointing thoughts should not have a place in our memory. Having decided to overcome such mishaps, we now plan for our return journey. See you again with the highlights of the next trip. If you like the channel, subscribe and click the bell button. Like and share this episode. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment box. Take care. This is Mahesh signing off.